Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Reagan. So it is the time of year where I do a declutter slash empty out my makeup that I'm not using or has gone bad. So that's what most of these products are. A lot of them don't even exist anymore or the brand has totally rebranded, got rid of that kind of packaging. So, and it's been a couple of years since they've done that. So I know they've gone bad. So yeah, uh, let's just sit back, relax. I think this will be a pretty long video. And yeah, let's just chat about, chat, not chart. <laughs> we'll chat about all the makeup I've been using. Okay, so I said all the makeup I've been using, but I really meant like all the makeup that I'm like, used up and getting rid of all of that. So after quite a bit of deliberation, because I've had these for so long, I am emptying out the Vapor Organic Beauty. These are their original Atmosphere Soft Focus foundation. I even have one of the glass one ones. So I've had these now for, I think like many years. I love this formulation, guys. It was my favorite in clean beauty. Uh, I love this. They don't make it, they've reformulated, so they don't make these specific ones anymore, but they were really good and I really loved them. Um, so yeah, it's just a thing. Like clearly I'm upset about it because I really like them, but they've just gone bad and there's nothing I can do about that. Like time goes by and things get bad, so yeah. Um, and then also I do have the original, this is the Atmosphere Luminous Foundation. Yeah, that's gone bad too. <laughs> Doobie concurs. Getting rid of this as well. Same reasons where I really did love their original formulations, guys. It just, it's gone bad. So yeah. And I do like some of their new stuff. I don't love their foundation stick because it doesn't have the coverage that I think it should. Their liquid foundations are pretty good. I really like their velvet glow, but apparently they're discontinuing that. So that's kind of upsetting, but yeah, it's rough. It's rough out there. Okay, and then I'm emptying this out because this sucks. This is the Dr. Hauschka foundation. This is like the worst foundation I've ever used. Worst smelling thing. It's awful. Horrible shade. I think I included this as my foundation in my like flops of 2021. It's bad. It's, it's just gotta go. Like no one should use that. It smells awful and the shade of it is awful. Then I am emptying out slash decluttering my Fit Glow Beauty. These are their foundations and I had VF1 and VF1.5. When I mix these together, perfect shade. They have come out with a new foundation. I think they've discontinued this and coming out with that new foundation. So I will try the new one and get back with you on how the shade is and the wear and stuff. This just wasn't that realistic for me to like recommend to you guys. Like, oh yeah, you know, if you're the same shade as me, like spend almost $110 on two foundations. No, so uh, I'm getting rid of those. Actually, again, I did like them both mixed together by themselves. Neither shade really worked that great for me. And then I'm emptying this out because this is the Jane Iredale. This is their SPF 30 Golden. So this goes, mm, I keep this in my purse, but it's pretty similar to this. This goes in the bottom of my uh, SPF. All right, so we took a short break so I could switch the battery out. That was unintended. But this went in the bottom of like my powder SPF to the Shane Iredale. It's very similar in concept to this one, but that one again is in my purse and I keep that in there to like put on my face during times I'm outside and I want to reapply sunscreen. Why I'm emptying this out, this was not the right shade for me. I have just their translucent one now, but uh, this one just didn't work for me. Okay, and then I am getting rid of, and I'll only get rid of the pan, I'll keep the packaging, but this is the Cloven Hollow Foundation. I didn't love this. Just didn't love it. Um, I didn't like it. So there's that. Uh, was it the worst thing I ever tried? No, but is it like amazing? No. So that's just kind of where I stand with it. And then the Gressa Minimalist Corrective Serum Foundation. I actually really like this and I have a new bottle of this. This is the very old packaging, so this is a very old bottle. I love the formulation of it. It is gorgeous and it looks gorgeous on the skin, but that one's gone bad, so it's time to go. Hello. My dog just opened the door. Hello, what do you want? Hello, what do you... Take a video. I'll get on my phone and take a video so you guys can see them. Hello. 
Hello. Hi. Are you interrupting? Yeah. Does no one want Mama to work? I know. <laughs> I know. <gasps> okay. Boys, go. Go. I know. Okay, go. Sorry for that unintentional break again. But where were we? So I'm getting into blushes now, and this kind of goes along with the same thing as that last Gressa product. So this is the Gressa Lumiere. So this actually wasn't a favorite product of mine from them. Like it was, it was okay, but it's not as pigmented as I would have liked. Foundation is really good. This one, again, just got old. I think I've had this for like three or four years, so it's just time to go. Uh, yeah. So this is the 14E. Uh, this is their Nourish Aloe Cheek and Lip. This one is another one that's old, has 12 month expiry. I think I've had this for like two or three years at this point. So it's just where we're at. I do like this and they ha I actually have uh, some of their newer ones that I really like a lot that um, they're packaged differently now. Now they come in a squeezy tube. I'll link a video because I have it up there. But a lot of this stuff is just like, it's gone bad. But I'll tell you the stuff that like, yeah, I did, I did get those again and I do like them. This I hate. <laughs> so this is the Thrive Cosmetics and I've talked about this quite a bit. Their blush and it's a cream blush, but like it totally disappears when you use this brush they have with it to blend it out. This is way too dense. I don't know what they were thinking with that. And I just don't like it. It doesn't look that great on the skin. It doesn't blend out well. It's not pigmented. So yeah. Okay. And then this one, yeah, this has gone bad. Uh, this is the Glam and Grace. This is, yeah, that smells, smells like coconut oil and it has, it looks gross. That's not fungus. It's like oil, but, uh, this has gone bad. I've had this for like three years. So I liked it. It was a nice contour cream contour stick. I only have one cream contour stick now. And this is one I did like. Um, and then this Glossier Cloud Paint, I did not like this. It's such a mess to use. Just how the packaging is, like they need to, it's just a squeezy tube, but this stuff comes out fast. And it's gotten all over this, it's just not good. I wouldn't recommend these. I like the Ilia ones more because they're tapered at the top and like they don't come out that fast. Like this just, I get that they're trying to do that whole like artistic like paint type look. No, like most people have a way smaller space to do their makeup than I do here. And like, I get it all over everywhere. So like everyone else is gonna get it all over their bathrooms, their, uh, got a hair out of my mouth, their room, whatever. It's just not a good, not a good sitch. Then I'm emptying this out because it's gone bad. I got this from a Etsy shop. I don't even know if they exist anymore. This is called Queenie. It's their Rojo Lip and Cheek Balm. I did like it. It was kind of like cool. And I wanted to support like little Etsy shops and I bought a bunch of makeup from just various ones. And I like this. Like I thought it was kind of cool branding. They make everything like under different moon cycles. Like they're kind of one of those type brands. And I thought it was cool. Like they sent a little guide and they also put a sticker to it so you know like what moon cycle yours was made under. So different, clever, clever. And then this is Say's blush, hated this. Everyone else loves these. I got this in Poppy. Maybe I just didn't get the right shade. I didn't like it. I don't feel like it's like, you're gonna hear me say this. I feel like the, like the doe foot is too big. And then it's just not as pigmented as I would like. So here it is. And as I spread it out, it just doesn't look how I wanted it to. I don't like the shade of it. It's a little bit like patchy. It just isn't one that I liked. There's stuff I like and stuff I don't, and this isn't one I liked. I didn't like that big doe foot either that much for a blush. Like, yeah. So this is what I would recommend over the Glossier. I'm emptying this one out because it's old and this does have a 12 month expiry, but I've had it for a few years at this point. This is the Ilia Color Haze. I have this in before today. I really do like these and I actually have one that I'm keeping that isn't as old that is uh, Sing. So I do like these. I think they're pretty, they're well pigmented. The design is really nice as well. Like it doesn't just shoot out like the Glossier ones. It has this like tapered top, just so much better. So much better than Glossier. And then this, I talked with State of Kate about this. It doesn't really smell like anything, but these are the Merit uh, blushes. 
I hope he doesn't get a new working, but they look like they're going to be kind of cutesy, but they're such a gimmicky product. Like when you put it on the back of your hand and then you blend it out, it just feels like oil. Like it just is nothing. The pigment's not there. When you blend it out because of that oily consistency, the pigment just goes away. So I didn't like that. So I'm getting rid of it. And then these, I've had these for quite a while. Sorry, like, could you say that again? Hmm. I have an I'm Apple Watch now you. and uh, I'm really confused by it, but yeah. Sorry, Siri. Okay, so I've had these Han Skincare Cosmetics. I have had two of their products for quite some time. This is their Malibu Bronzer and then this is their Coral Candy Blush. I actually have these. They've repackaged them now in like paper packaging. So I have the new packaging, but these are old. Like, and actually these have a six, this one has a six month expiry. I've had that way longer. Hmm. Let's, let's admit our sins here together because I kept that few years. And then this one is 12 months, the blush. So again, I do have new ones. I like those products. I think they're good ones. It's just time to go. Kind of same with this Burt's Bees blush. I really did like it, but I've had this for a few years now and it's time to go. It's shy pink, really pretty shade. Um, does it smell? No, it doesn't smell like anything, but I just know that I've had it way longer than the 12 month expiry. So, and then these smell, so that's why I'm getting rid of them. Um, and I've had them for quite a while, except for this one. The number six, I didn't have that long. These are the Oli Oso bombs, and it already started to turn pretty quickly. Uh, the number nine, uh, I had this one for quite some time, and I just opened it up, and I was like, yep, that doesn't smell the same, so it's gotta go. Also, I am getting rid of my Cloven Hallow bronzer. It went hard pan on me. Uh, and it's old at this point. Like this is a few years old as well. So I'm sure the expiry isn't longer than 12 months. And I'm getting rid of this Clover highlight because one of you guys told me it smelled like cat pee and now I can't unthink that. So that's just the straight up truth on it. Like I like the way it looked on my skin. The way it smells is hideous. So gotta go. Okay, and then I only have one concealer and I ended up emptying this out. So this is the Saint concealer. I don't think I would repurchase it. I didn't hate it. Like it was like medium coverage. It was fine. And I did, again, I emptied it out, but it's more because I had it and I, I used it. But it wasn't anything like to write home about kind of thing. If I was ever in a pinch and like this was the only concealer at a store, I would use it. I would buy it, but it's not something I'm going to like actively search for again. And okay, so getting into kind of like eyes in a sec, but I, I'll just mention this because I have no other lip products, but this is the Bali Balm. We got this, I think, in a Petit Vore box and this has gone bad. I mean, this had a 12 month ice brain. I've had it like two or three years at this point. So yeah, that's where we're at. And then I am getting rid of this sponge, which was one of my favorite sponges. Um, I got these in Taiwan and they're the best firmness, the best, it they're amazing. And you get them at like Taiwanese drug stores, super cheap super good sponge, but it's nasty. So it's got to go. I have like one more left. I'm hoping like Omicron kind of like wraps up COVID for us so I can like, I'm not going to go back to Taiwan specifically just to get sponges, but like it's one of the things on my list I'll do while I'm there. Okay. And then this is the Lawless. This is their bio glitter eyeshadow. <sighs> I've talked about this where it's kind of like disappointing because of the packaging. Like I get what they're doing with the paper, but if you have a bathroom, which all of us do, and you ever do your makeup in there and there's water on the sink and this gets some water on it, it's ruined. So the formulation's not that great. It's just not that special. Like buy a palette, even their palettes. Like I, this I just think was like a quick money grab. And then these I've had for like four years. Yeah, that's embarrassing to admit. I think I would, yeah. That's embarrassing, but these are the Ilia eyeshadow palettes and I do like these. I would repurchase them. I think they have nice shades to them. They've repackaged since this packaging, but I've liked them. So I do like the warm nudes and I also like the cool nudes, which I was surprised with myself. I really did like the more like matte shades of their nudes, but these do have to go because again, I don't need to get an eye infection. I was thinking same thing with the original Aether Rose Quartz Crystal Gemstone palette. My friend gave me this and this was pre-pandemic. Like anything that I've had since like before the pandemic, I'm like, well, it's been two years now, so kind of time to go. So this I've had for like three years. 
I did like it enough, but do they have an expiry on it? I'm sure it's 12 months. I have the box too. They have to have that on here somewhere. I mean, just legally speaking, I know you need to have that, but I'm guessing this is like a 12 month expiry, even though I can't find it this very second. This is from when they first launched. They don't even make this exact palette anymore. So yeah, kind of an unfortunate thing, but I do have their new rose quartz palette and I like it. So there's that. Then I am getting rid of quite a few brow products. So this is the found brow pencil. This is like a Walmart drugstore clean beauty brand. I liked this, I did. It's like a bigger, thicker brow pencil, but I've had this just so long. If I was at a Walmart and I saw found, I would buy a few things because I did like them. Um, and this is a Jane Iredale brow pencil. I actually went empty on it. So yeah, I did like it because it's a micro pencil and I had shade blonde. I would get this again. It was a nice shade match for me. These are empties and I went totally empty on these of the plume brow pencils. One thing that's cool about them, the, these were, or the, one sec, I'll just pull it because it'll explain it better and easier for me because clearly my speech is just off today. Okay, so here's their brow pencil. Um, and they have a refill system. So you can just like pull this out. It's kind of hard because my hand, but you pull this out and then you pop a new one in. So obviously nothing's ever going to be perfect in terms of sustainability, but I do appreciate that because you are using less plastic. You know what I mean? Like compared to like the found one that I'm gonna have to get rid of the whole thing because it's not a refill system, so. Yeah, I thought that was cool. I'm getting rid of this Cali brow pencil. It wasn't bad, just not a fave kind of situation. And then I'm also getting rid of the Fair Brows Betty. I think we got this in a Pettivore box. I haven't gotten the Pettivore box in like years at this point. I did like that box because you did get like a good value out of it, but I'm just kind of, I don't know. I don't want like a lot of little stuff around anymore. That's just, I'm trying to like declutter my life. Okay, and then some mascaras. So I have the Lip Bars Mascara, and I did really like this. Uh, just mascaras go bad quit pretty quickly. So yeah, it's just a nice basic lengthening mascara. And then this is one I liked that a lot of people didn't, but I liked it. So, you know, that happens. This is the Flex Lash Mascara from Cloven Hallow. Has kind of like an hourglass shaped brush on it. Um, yeah, I liked it. It's just, you know, I've had it for a long time. And then this smells bad, but I did like it enough. It's the Zuzu Lux Clear uh, Mascara. I use this as a clear brow gel, but it smells bad now because it's, it's none of this stuff smells bad because like it's bad. It's because I keep things for way too long, clearly. <laughs> so that's where we're at. So I'm getting rid of all of my Antonym eyeliners. I did like this and I like the style of them because, and I kept this for some of my other eyeliners. Let me find one. Well, I can't find one that I kept like this, but uh, they had on the other side a sharpener. So that was really clever and different. Sorry, the lighting's kind of getting worse. I'm trying to like batch film today a few things. So it just happens. But yeah, I'm getting rid of these. It's just time. I've had them for many years at this point. And even eyeliner after a while needs to go. Okay. And then I have some liquid liners. I'll just say if I'd repurchase it. The Honest Beauty one, it's not awful. It's like a mid. If I had to use it, if I saw it on sale or, you know, I would use it. It's fine. Uh, I prefer like a pencil, which I'll talk about in a second. The Zuzu Lux eyeliner. I didn't like this as much because I didn't like the wand with it. So I probably wouldn't repurchase it. It's just way too stiff. And then these two I did like, but they just dried out. So one of the things I did like from the, I'm trying to like get out of the way of this light, but I did like this Lauren Conrad. This is their Onyx liner. One of the few things I did like from the line. And then I loved this. This is the Lavina liquid eyeliner. It has a felt tip. It was just a really good one. They've all dried out, which is, you know, it's fine. That happens. Okay, lastly, eyeshadows. And these are specifically liquid eyeshadows. I am getting rid of slash decluttering the Ilia liquid eyeshadows to make room um, and just not have so much clutter. And these do have a six month expiry and I've had these for like a couple, like a year and a half or more at this point. So I didn't love these. I wouldn't repurchase them. They were kind of patchy. 
And then I am getting rid of all of my Kosas. These are their, um, what are these? They're 10 second eyeshadows. They have reformulated these and like repackaged them and stuff. There's just other things I like more. I might pick one up eventually, but this wasn't anything that like I went crazy for situation. Like I have some other liquid stuff I like more. And then I have this Crop Naturals and this is dried out pretty much yeah this is their uh moon dust and this had an 18th month expiry so that's a little bit longer but it did dry out and it's much drier than it was and i like this for the time but i'm pretty sure i got this on one of my first credo trips and i've lived in northern california now for five years so I do not need an eye infection. All right, guys, so let me know your thoughts. Uh, sorry about the lighting. It's just, it's that time of day where like the light, it's good because I feel like you can see my face better and clearer, but you know, it's kind of like some sort of Instagram filter or something. But anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. I am going to send all this stuff to TerraCycle. Um, I, I don't like, and I wouldn't give these to anyone for like a second rehome or anything because this is all really old. So yeah, that's just where I'm at. But I'll have my skincare uh, empties linked down below if you want to see that. And yeah, I will see you in the next video and have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.